Hello, my name is Fiona Walsh of Imagine Coaching and my topic for this month is transitions and timing. A transition is the animation that moves from slide to slide. So basically how we move from one slide to another. So we'll see transitions on the transitions tab here. When we click on that, we will see an overview of all the transitions that we have. There's a little drop down menu here, a little more menu. And if we click on that, then we'll see all the options. So we've got some very fancy ones here, like a crush, we've got peel off, fracture, that's another fancy one there. So for each of these transitions, it's actually not for this one, let's click on this one here, blinds. Um, what we'll see here is there are some effects options over here. And if the effect options apply to that particular transition, there'll be a little drop down menu and we can change some of those settings. So for this particular one, for the blinds, we can either have our blinds going vertically or horizontally. Let's click horizontal and let's see what that one's like. So there we go, you can see how that changed. I'm going to go for something a little bit more simple. <clears throat> let's try the split and see what the options are for that one. So for this one, there's a few more options. So you can see we've got vertical out, we've got horizontal in, we've got horizontal out and we've got vertical in. So you can see there's quite a few different options we've got for that one. And they'll all be different depending on the actual transition. The next thing we have under the timing section here are another few options. So we can change how long it takes for that transition to take place. So this one is 1.5 seconds. And we can make that quicker by reducing the time there. Or we can make that transition slower. Okay, by, by um, increasing the duration. We also have apply to all. So if we want this transition to apply to every slide in the presentation, we can click that and then we don't have to go to each slide to put the transition on. Okay. And next we have got how we advance the slide. So for example, if we're running the presentation ourselves and we want to have control over when we transition to the next slide, we want to keep that on uh, on mouse click. The other option is we can have the slide automatically transition after a certain amount of time. So if we click on the after, we can then increase the time and it means that that slide will automatically transition to the next slide after four seconds in this case. If we keep on mouse click ticked to, it means that it will transition after four seconds, or if we click with our mouse before four seconds, it will then transition to the next slide. And after we've changed these settings, again, we can apply to all, and that's going to be the same throughout our presentation. If you found that helpful and you're watching on LinkedIn, please do connect with me. And if you're watching on my YouTube channel, please subscribe.